Hi, my name is Mark. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor, an Adobe Community Professional, and an Adobe Campus Leader. And this is 10 Hacks with Captivate and the Creative Cloud. In this episode of Captivate and the Creative Cloud, we're going to add a little flavor to your e-learning projects by adding creative assets with Adobe Stock. So right inside of Adobe Captivate, we can actually get some assets straight from Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock has millions of different photos and templates and videos that we can use for our different projects. Or even maybe just use them as a placeholder. So up here in the top corner, we can click on this Assets button. And as you know, we have different assets, these little characters that Captivate added a while ago. And in the center here, it says get Adobe Stock Assets. So let's click there. Okay, so once it loads, you'll see here, I can just do a search for an image. So let's say I was looking for a clown. I press enter and it comes up with a bunch of different clowns for me. So I kind of like this, this little clown. So I can either buy it straight away or I can come over here to download it. So I can click on this download button and boom, it gets directly downloaded and it says it's gonna be in the assets folder inside of Captivate. Close that window. And let's say I wanted to grab this crown as well. One little click and I get the preview downloaded directly to my assets folder. I'll close that window. So what I could also do though is I can come over here and click this icon, this little icon for a camera. Let's say I have a, an idea of a picture that I want and I wanna find other pictures like it. So I can click over here and I can drag an image or just browse to my desktop to load an image of my choice. So I'll go on my desktop here and I have a picture of a puppy. Let's load that in. And there's a cute little puppy that I, that I downloaded. And now it shows me other images that are kind of like that. Other puppy images, other dogs running in the grass. This is using Adobe Sensei technology, which is really neat, really great way for us to search. So let's say I wanted to save one of these puppies. Okay, we'll find a puppy that we like. Let's say this little guy, and I'll click download that preview to my Captivate Assets. Great, and we'll close that window. And now if I go into My Assets, and you'll see if I go to Media, I have the two clowns that I downloaded, as well as that little puppy. And I can just click on them and easily incorporate them into my project, or I use them as a placeholder, just to get an idea of how your project might look with a similar sort of photo. Another thing we can do that I like even better is to go back to the assets to use Adobe Stock, go back to get Adobe Stock assets, and this time again, we'll click on that little camera icon to load a picture of our choice to match. And let's say here I was looking for a Dalmatian, different kind of puppy. I upload the image, and it shows me other Dalmatians that I could possibly use for my project, making it much easier to start with one image and end up with a whole bunch. So again, let's say I like this puppy right here. I can click, and this time, instead of clicking the download button, which downloads it to Captivate into my media assets, I'm gonna click the heart. So if I roll over and hit the heart, I can save these assets to my library. These are libraries that are accessible with your assets across all Adobe applications. So I'm gonna click this heart. These are libraries that I already have that I'm using within my own Adobe Creative Suite. But let's create a new one for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'll do Captivate Assets, and I'll hit the Return button. And now it's saving it. All right, so let's save another puppy out. So I'll scroll down, looking for an image that I like. I like this little guy. So I'll hover over, you'll see the heart, and I click, again, to save it to my library. This time, instead of adding a library, I'm just gonna roll down and click on Captivate Assets. This is the new library that I created. I click. And boom, it's saved into the library. So now if I close this window or go back to my assets and then media, I don't see the new images that I just downloaded of the Dalmatian because those have been downloaded to the Creative Cloud. So now I can download all these images that I might want my graphic designer to color correct or crop or add some kind of treatment to. And they'll all be accessible inside of Photoshop or Illustrator or Premiere or After Effects or InDesign or almost any Adobe application and go under Window down to Libraries, it'll open up my Creative Crowd library. And you'll see here I have a bunch of different folders and here's my Captivate Assets folder that I just created for this project. And there you see the Dalmatian images that I just downloaded. And I can just double click one 
and boom, it opens right up and I can preview it, I can crop it, and then I can save it out and import it into Captivate. Hope this helped. I'll see you next time.